Hello everybody and welcome back to Win Playing Games and I am playing as Tibet in European Vertalis 4. I believe this is episode 11 but here in the main menu I wanted to just take a look around the world see what's going on. Now in India we can see that they're having well the Hindus are having something of a Sunni problem there's also a bit of Shiite over here and Ceylon down here is the, the only Buddhist section in India. Now over here in Persia, the Timurids are down to two counties and they're not even attached. So the Timurids, extraordinarily weak. We have Khorasan in Persia fighting for control over the Persian mountains. Persia is getting invaded by Khorasan and Nogai, strangely enough. Muscovy still hasn't a next perm in order to create Russia so that they can start colonizing. Um, Japan, we already know what's going on in Japan. It's being split up into three, the Ochi, the Japanese, and the Date. Now there's been no colonization of the New World, which is kind of to be expected because not even the 1500s yet, but the Aztecs have managed to um, completely annex the Zapotec and the Maya, which is always nice to see. The Ottomans over here, they're spreading further down into the Arabian peninsula down here and eventually they're going to for most likely move into Egypt and then across northern Africa. Castile has a personal union over Aragon, we can see that by here, and they have also managed to integrate um, Nante, I think, is that the people who are down here? Well, normally down there. France, very strong, don't mess with France, they're currently attacking Bohemia. England is has taken land from Scotland, and Scotland is pretty much cowering in their boots. Connacht down here has managed to take control of the entirety of the Irish island. And Denmark has completely annexed, um, what is it? Norway. At any rate, we are still playing as Tibet, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so when we last left off, we were about to be attacked by Janpo. They have ten men, they're going to be arriving in Janpo pretty soon, and I don't think I can scare them off by sending my men over there, but we'll try. In the meantime, what I want to do is take out more loans, okay, raise war taxes, okay, and then I wish to hire some more mercenaries. One, two, can only hire two more guys. Can I hire any normal infantry? I can hire one. So let's do so. Now as for military advisors, we don't have anyone who can improve our um, combat ability. We have this discipline guy, but he's level two. We can't afford him anyway, but he would have been nice to have. Okay, so it looks like we have managed to scare jean away, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's go and merge up these armies. I don't know if having two armies on one county sieging increases the rate at which the, the attrition happens, because you have two armies, therefore two separate ticks for attrition. Therefore you lose more men in less time. That's the logic behind it anyway. I don't know if it's actually true or not. We're just waiting for our last infantrymen to be ready in Dangla, and we've taken out a loan. We're going to be so deep in loans. Let's see, how many have we got? We've got three. Hopefully we don't take out too many, but it's not game over if we do. We can hire a new military leader as well. Our current leader down here in Jampo is a 2-1-3-2. He's the best siege leader we have, but then again all of our leaders are the best siege leader we have. Ooh, we managed to get a 4-2-2. Very nice. I'll put Desi in charge of this army, and I'll have everyone meet over in Ustal. Nobles demand recompensation. State has lived off contributions of nobles for a long period of time. Country doing so well, nobility eager to get their cut of the cake. Oh man, this is... Uh, can I afford to have to improve stability? Maybe. You know what, let's just pay them off. 
yes, we're going to take out several more loans, but hey. I mean, the inflation isn't really what's going to get to us, is it? No, I don't think so. It's just the fact that we're probably going to have to be repaying these guys for years to come. Yep, there we go, another loan. So what should I do with these three guys? Well, I think I'll want them to go into Bihar, because the Janpirian army can't actually move into Bihar, unless they go through my army or they go through Malwa, which I don't think they're particularly fond of Malwa. Let's take a look. Janpur, Janpur... Wait, what? No. Okay, close that window. Show me Janpur. Yep. Malwani attitude to Janpur is rivalry, so they're not going to be able to get military access through there. What about Delhi? Delhi is also a rival of Janpur. So Janpur's army can't move into any adjacent countries. And that's good for me. Now I'm going to... Should I stay here so that he can't move in to occupy Janpur, or should I... Here's what I'll do. I will create a new unit, get some of my mercs. Okay, let's make sure we have a decent infantry to mercenary, infantry to cavalry ratio. And we'll send these guys over here to go and siege down Jarkand. Now this army here just doesn't know what it's doing. So we've improved relations with Ming. Did I just say maintain diplomat? No, it looks like he's coming back. So what is our relationship with everyone? Ming, like us, I believe we have an alliance with Ming? We do, and a royal marriage. And the same with the Horde. And additionally with Pegu? Yes. So what is... Okay, Shan is our rival. Delhi doesn't really like us. Are you Muslim? You are. That's unfortunate. But then again, as a noble republic, I can't do what I was thinking anyway. What I was thinking was I can get a um, personal union over them, but because of the way our government works, we can't really get them married into our royal lineage. Okay, that siege went incredibly fast. Let's go and siege Bengal Delta, because that is our war goal. Shan declared war on Tangu, this one province minor down here. Man, I feel sorry for Tangu. Looks like one of our military generals has just perished. Fortunately, he, this army is in friendly land, so we'll just send him a new leader. You can't assign a new leader to people who are not inside controlled territory, which is why that's important. We're going to be finishing up the Siege of Bihar soon, which we did midway through my sentence, and we can invest in a new idea. What is this? Time to fabricate claims. 400 Diplo points. What's the next rank of Diplo tech? Trade range plus 20 and trade efficiency. Now trade efficiency is probably going to be a good thing for me. Let's take a look at our economy. Or our trade. We make 26, nearly 27% of our income from trade. So what about our trade range? Let's see, we are in the Yumen trade node. Do we have a dude over here? We can't send... No, not even the increased trade range will allow us to send our um, trader to Beijing. I'm guessing the same is also true for Hangzhou. Yep, wait. Current range, 283 max range, yeah. So let us... Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's just remain on military. Um, let's just improve our technology and wait to them. So we're just waiting to siege up Jean-Pun. I wonder what kind of peace deal we'll be able to make from this. Let's take a look while time ticks. Oh, what's this? Foreign plot? Wild rumors are circulating about our nobility plotting with foreign powers. Hysteria grows and the mood is fearful. The people demand that we strike at the traitors, but wiser minds say we must let traditions of republican justice take its course. Seize them and their wealth, we gain money, but lose republican tradition, I don't want that. Or lose one stability, I don't want that either. Let's lose the stability. Okay, go to, let's boost. Uh, 
look at that modifier. Lack of Republican tradition plus 58% cost to improving stability. I guess that's one reason, one reason why you want high Republican tradition as a noble republic. Or as a republic, I guess. I'm pretty sure the same is true for any republics. So we've managed to occupy Bengal Delta. That forced their docked ships out to fight our um, our barricading fleet. But unfortunately they managed to dock back up in Rajabada. So what are these guys doing? They're still stuck here. They really don't want to attack. They have no military leader. Okay, we've won the siege of Gujarat. Let's have the Gujaratan army go to Rajabara. Let's merge these guys so we don't suffer the theoretical additional um, attrition ticks. And we have a, uh, a revolt happen here. Sunni zealots who probably wish to convert Tibet. Let's take a look. Yep, convert Tibet. Okay, so here we go. We've got another election. So our current guy is a... What is he? He is a 522. How old is he? 48. I can't really afford to keep him, because that will lower our Republican tradition. So instead, what should we focus on? Admin, Diplo, or Military? Let's focus on Diplo, actually. Okay, so we now have Desi Sange Gyatsu Funtos, I think. Uh, to be honest, I haven't learned the Tibetan language, so I have no idea. Okay, so Ming wished for a royal marriage. What about Orator? Do I have a royal marriage with you? I do. Thank you. I do. Okay. So that's always good. Not too many of our... Um, of our royal marriages got broken. Okay, John, well, let's start looking at peace deals. Firstly, I wish to have Bengal Delta. Secondly, let's see, can I force you to release someone? I can force you to release Gujarat or Orissa. Hmm. If I release Gujarat, that'll split up Jampur. But I don't have enough war score. I need at least 66, I believe. Yeah, probably. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this third army down here into Janpa. And since we don't need to blockade anyone because Janpa don't control any um, any ocean provinces or um, coastal provinces, should I say, we'll just send these guys to go back and patrol the fleet patrol trade. We have obtained a new advisor. He's a person who increases reinforced speed. Alright, let's go and send our guys over to Lower Dobe. Let's make sure we have Desi Sangai as our dude. Oh yeah, look, we absolutely slaughtered them. Okay, Janto is winning to surrender. We'll cede Bengal Delta and Bahar to me. Why do I want Bahar? Do I have a claim on that? No, I don't. So you wish to give me aggressive expansion? No. Instead, what I'll do is I'll half and half send one army to Lower Dobe and the other army to the final province up here. We'll siege. Now, I'm looking at the rebels here. They're pretty close to winning their siege. But it's going to take more than just one siege in order to convert me. I don't wish to converse with you, jean -Pur. Sunni zealots have taken control of Silhet, get religious violence until 1502, so that's about two years. Local tax modifier and manpower decreased. Okay. So there goes the siege of Lower Dobe. And eventually we'll manage to win the siege of Old. Okay. Now these rebels aren't moving. That's interesting. Grand Captain has died. We have obtained a natural scientist, advisor, an army organizer, and a Grand Captain. How much money are we making? 0.79? Are you serious? 
Ah oh, man, not this again. Fine, gain the money, lose the Republican tradition. Oh hey, and we can build stuff. What can we build out of curiosity? Armory, dock, marketplace. Marketplace is probably a good idea to build in somewhere that has a nice, um, produces a nice product. Now let's determine that we have this icon down here that tells you, like for instance, Bengal Delta produces cloth, Chittagong produces cotton, and Dhaka produces also cotton. Now what I'm looking for is the current price, 2.75. To be honest, I don't know what um, the supply and demand really mean. I guess supply represents how much you're making and demand represents how much people want it. So really, in order to increase the price, I guess you want higher demand than higher supply. Because otherwise that will reduce the price, just like inflation works. So, we have managed to occupy the entirety of Zhanghe. Let's send our guys back to Gorda before we offer peace. Okay, let's merge these guys and send them to go and attack the rebels here in Dhaka. So, what do we want? Clear offer. I want Bengal. I want the Bengal Delta. I will also want you to release... Should I release Orissa or should I release Gajarat? Let's release Gajarat. Give me your trade power. And can't acknowledge these treaties. I'm, I'm fine with you having those allies. Give me the rest of your money in ducats. And that's it. Excellent. Term, jean -Paul will trade 50% of his trade power. This affects nodes where we both have trade power. Okay, call, call for peace. We just came out of war. Okay, so we need to send a missionary over to the Bengal Delta. Notice how Silhead still said... It had a time available here, but you can send a missionary. That's because this time pretty much represents a 0% monthly increase in missionary progress. We've gained the trade dispute against Vijayanagar. Ah, so VJ is not liking us. Out of curiosity, do you have any provinces that contain... You have a province that contains iron. That's a pretty good resource. Ooh, chili. How much does that make? 5.5 .5 ducats? Wow. I want some chili. You know what? Let's cancel missionary and firstly let's make this province into a core. This will reduce the... Um, it will reduce the revolt risk and it will also reduce our overextension. Since we're no longer at war, we can repay all of our loans. Now our army here has taken quite a beating. I'm not going to send my missionary to um, improve Stillhead. Instead, I'm going to half my army and send half them to Bengal Delta. Am I above my forced limit? I am. Which is always good. Unfortunately, how much of our army is mercenaries? Detach all mercenaries. Detach all mercenaries. Okay, so let us... How do I... I guess so there's no hot key for disband unit. Oh well. Let's disband all of these guys. That should improve our money. Yes, that improved it quite a lot. And then let's just hire personal people. People from our country instead of mercenaries who cost a buttload of money. Now we're making 7.9 ducats a month. That's also because we have no advisors. Oh, and we don't have any money to hire people. Great. Should have planned that with a bit more foresight, but hey. Let's send the time to maximum, and we'll debate what to do next. So, in terms of expansion, who do I want to attack? Shan. I want this province of Arakan. So, let us go and covertly fabricate a claim on Arakan. And then, 
what do I want to do? We have a claim on Kathmandu. Ooh, Delhi is outraged towards us. Wow. And you know what, let us... Do I have... Yep, I have one more diplomatic slot available. I'm going to proclaim a guarantee on Gujarat. This means anybody who attacks Gujarat, I can attack immediately. So say if Malwa attack Gujarat, I'll be attacking Malwa to defend Gujarat. Why do I want to do this? Because I don't want anybody to mess up my expansion. In terms of my expansion into India, I don't want to take any more coastal provinces, but I want to expand inland. That way I won't immediately be... Ooh, call to arms. Let me finish this tangent. That way I won't immediately be um, the target of any Western nation who gets that mission to expand into India, because that gives them claims on the entirety of the Indian coast, which is, well, the entirety of the Indian coast. But yes, so we have a call to arms. Orat Horde requesting come to aid in Orat Horde conquest of Manchu against Manchu. Manchu is allied with Ochi. Really? Okay. Orat Horde declare war on their enemies. Boundary dispute. We get a claim on Qin. Where's that? Oh, it's there. Sure, why not? I mean, we're already fabricating a claim on Shan anyway. So let's take a look at this wall. Manchu, oh, wow. Okay, so Ochi refused to join Manchu's war. That's going to hinder relations between them. But it looks like Manchu have a pretty nice army. They are one tech level behind, mind you, and yep, Manchu have lost that battle. So that's a pretty much deciding factor in the war between Manchu and Oratord. Manchu look like they're pretty well, pretty good. Now in terms of Bengal Delta, once we finish making a core, I want to convert the religion from Hinduism to Buddhism. Nationalists have risen up in Bengal Delta, that would be the 7.2 revolt risk that's occurring in the Bengali Delta. Now we still have room for more dudes. Let us hire three, three of these guys, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, that should be good. So we've hired three of each, cavalry and infantry. Manchu is still not doing much. I want to at least have positive stability. That event that we just had was pretty bad. Oh wow, in Japan they're losing significantly against Ochi. Target of the coalition of Date. Hmm. In the coalition against Japan. And you... Oh! What? How did you become a vassal of Japan? Ochi, what happened? Improved reputation event. This is great. We got improved diplomatic reputation. This means all countries like us better. Now let's get all of these guys that we've just recruited and send them into Silhet, because that province has a kind of significant chance of closing a revolt. Now, as for military advisor, I would like reinforce, no, not reinforce, speed, fort defense. And let's get someone, ooh, let's get statesman for our diplomatic advisor. So, Bengali Delta is now ours. I will send a missionary over there. And, we just wait. Did our claim on Sean go through? It did. So what should I have my diplomats do? Well, I can fabricate another claim on Jampo, which I shall do. Covert, fabricate claim on... Should I go for Rajabada or Bihar? Let's go for Bihar. Okay. Mm. Pegu, how do you like me? You could do with a bit more relations, so let us... Relations, improve relations. Okay. And let us also go and improve relations with Vijayanagar, even though they're our rival. Still, it wouldn't hurt. Higher relations means more chance that they take us out from their rival list.
we're still waiting for enough diplo points to improve our diplomatic tech. After we've improved our diplo tech, we are going to improve our diplomatic ideas. Let's see, what is our first Tibetan idea? Stability cost modifier minus 10. That's always good. Is our Republic tradition increasing or decreasing? Changed by 1% per year as long as the country is a Republic. Does that mean that it's 1% of what it is currently? That's what it gets increased by? Because 1% of 67 is like 0.6. I guess that's an okay amount. But anyway. We managed to fabricate a claim on jean -Pierre. Let us go and fabricate a claim on Gajarat. Oh, foreign plots event again. Ugh, man. Fine. I'm starting to really dislike that event. Not only does it... It either says, gain money, lose, Repub lose Republican tradition, or it says, okay, you've lost one stability. I mean, that's pretty bad. Can we afford another advisor? We could, but I'm not going to, because that'll decrease our income to a point where it's not acceptable. Speaking of income, we could probably create more trade fleets. Four, five, six, seven, yep. So we're going to fill our entire naval um, force limit with trade fleets. Except for that one, I believe. Yeah, we have one heavy ship, two galleys, one light ship. Okay, so it's not all trade ships. Which reminds me, what is our trade power here? We are currently in third place with 23.6. That's because we are currently collecting from trade. There's a lot more value in the Bengal trade node than there is in the Yumen trade node. Do... hmm... I would also like to move my capital to the Bengal Delta. Or somewhere. Maybe to Solhet or Gorda. Yes, I think I'm looking at Gorda, actually. Anyway, Ming declared war on Manchu. Man, Manchu, you are seriously... <laughs> You're not going to survive for too long, Manchu. The war against the Oritod and myself is at 71% in our favour. Oh hey, and we can improve our Diplo tech. Let's do so. Now, the next thing we can get from our Diplo tech is an embassy. This is that building that I was talking about in a previous episode sometime where you get plus one diplomat. Just flat out, plus one diplomat. You just place it down somewhere and boom, you have one diplomat. Well, one extra diplomat. If it changed your diplomats from whatever it is to one, that would be pretty bad. But anyway. Vigianica improved relations. Okay, recall diplomat. Do you like us? You're a positive relations, but you still think of us as a rival. Who are you at war with? Ceylon. Oh dear. Is this place being sieged? No. Vigianaga, if you can't get any f men to Ceylon, you're not going to win this war. It's just going to cause you problems. So Tibet, Tibet looks like it's growing quite nice. It literally does look like it's blobbing out, really. I don't know what I can much do about that. I mean, if the if these two provinces, these two great provinces here were not wasteland, I'm pretty sure our borders would look pretty nice. So Manchu has accepted peace. Manchu will concede defeat. Is that it? Oratord, seriously. I guess they didn't have any claims, so, hey. I guess so, repay loan? Repay loan? Unhappiness among the peasantry. Conflicts and protests over taxes. Landlord cruelty. Expropriation. Don't know what that means. Serfdom and customs policies have become quite frequent. If we don't manage to solve the problem soon, the consequences could be dire. So we can either gain ten prestige or lose and lose one stability or lose some ducats. Uh, lose the ducats. I'm quite 
Oh, I don't want to lose any more stability. I know it's going to happen eventually, but really, that'll... it's really impacting my admin tech. So let's take a look at our trade. We are now currently earning 3.8 ducats a month from trade. And that's 31% of our entire income. Now if I move my capital to say Gorda, which I think I will, cost 200 admin points, sure. Now, does this mean that we're making a lot more? Use this, Vijayanagar in Tibet. Vijayanagar holds 83%? Holy jeez, why? Why do you own that much? From promises, light ships, transfer trades from downstream. You're transferring trade from here? Really? Uh, let's see, Vijayanagar, are you transferring trade power? Dang. Oh, we can do the same. Okay, so instead of collecting trade in Yumen, go and transfer trade from here. Brunei, Tibet. Yep, we wield quite a bit of power in this trade note for some reason. Don't know why. But let's see, how, what has that done to our trade? 49%, VJ still holds 84. Man. At any rate though, that should be it for this episode. I can't wait to play this again, and I will see you all next time. Take care.